All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see, it's been a really long time since I've made one of these videos, but uh, I thought today we could go ahead and make a package video. And normally with these package videos, if I pick something up or whatnot, I haven't really made any videos like that in a long time. But this one is kind of a special case, so I figured we could open this one together. Now, if you look behind me, you'll probably notice what is that playing in the background, or why is that playing in the background, for those of you who know. This is Zelda, the uh, Wand of Gamelon for the Philips CDI, and there's an interesting story behind that, and that is a couple of weeks ago, I was quite sick, I had influenza, and uh, I had to stay home for a few days, so I figured I'd do some gaming, and I'm sure people are already thinking like, so you thought you'd make yourself more sick by playing the CDI or whatnot, but I don't know, I just got into it. I, I've had these games here for the CDI. Uh, this is the uh, Wand of Gamelon, as well as the Faces of Evil. These two games here have gotten a really bad reputation over the years, mostly for being really hard to play or difficult to play, and people didn't like the graphic style to it or the cheesy acting cutscenes and whatnot. But this system, the CDI, was, uh, I, I had no idea about it until it was introduced to me by a really good YouTuber and friend who goes by the name of Seb, or Half Blind Gamer, on YouTube here. And he started putting up videos on the CDI, and when I saw those videos, I thought, wow, this is a unique or an interesting machine. And I saw him do some playthroughs on the Zelda series, and I thought, wow, it'd be interesting to own one of those. So several years ago, I mean, probably talking like six years ago or more, Seb wound up sending me uh, a CDI. And it was uh, really, I mean, thoughtful. It was a, an amazing thing. Um, and later on, I wound up giving him uh, something in return. I think I gave him a Neo Geo uh, AES system. But after introducing the CDI to me, I just thought, wow, this is a unique system, and I kind of like it, and uh, I want to get to know it a little bit more. So... I went and I picked up some games for it, a few games for it, and played it, you know, on and off. Uh, but up until recently, I've been playing the heck out of the Zelda series. So uh, I wound up getting on the net, and I was chatting with uh, Seb again, and we were talking about, like, games and whatnot. And he had mentioned that there was a few things that he wanted from Japan, and uh, I asked him about a couple of games for the CDI if he had any access to them or knew about them, and he said... Uh, yeah, he said he, he wasn't really worried about like selling them off, uh, as I, I told him that if he wanted to sell them, I'd be more than willing to buy them, but he's like, yeah, instead I'm kind of interested in a trade, so he put down a few things that he was interested in, and I, I you know told him I'd try and get what he could, uh, or get the things that he wanted, and we basically did a trade, so as you can see here, after all my rambling, <laughs> here is the package here, all the way from the Netherlands, from Seb. And I figured we could open this thing up and see what's inside. It is quite heavy, so <clears throat> I'm not sure what's in it. But I told him I only, you know, was interested in maybe just a couple of games. Um, but I think, yeah, he he mentioned that he was going to send out more stuff. <laughs> Seb is an awesome guy. Really great guy. I'm sure many of you who uh, have been around, at least on my channel, or have been around the same time as I've been around, uh, know Seb. If not... Definitely put his link in the description. If you ever wanted to know pretty much, you know, everything about CDI stuff, he's had a channel for a very long time, and he puts up a lot of CDI stuff, Let's Plays, Let's Checks, all sorts of stuff, so. And he's the master of taping, I think. <laughs> when he sent the CDI out years and years ago, I think I made a video on that one, but man, was that thing taped well. <laughs> This thing even says, like, um, Japan Customs has opened it, but they opened it from the bottom part, which is probably the, I don't know, the weakest out of this whole thing. But I've got my tools here, so hopefully we can get this thing going. This is a monster box. And hopefully everybody else is doing okay. Like I mentioned, it's been a really long time since I decided to make one of these videos. And, yeah, just been doing a lot of gameplay videos. Um, you know, got a lot of game stuff, so i got to... Go ahead and take that out and check it. I've been trying to replace some broken stuff and things of that nature. Looks like a, a beer box. This is awesome. <laughs> Seb's got some awesome packaging. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> this, is, this is good. 
<laughs> hey Luke, and hello everyone who's watching. This just seems like a public service announcement. Here are some extra games for you to try out on the Mighty CDI. It's a pretty good collection, and I'm sure you'll appreciate them. I cleaned them up as best I could, and most are in a decent state. One, however, is kind of scratched, unfortunately, so it might have some issues. It still functions, as it does prevent tea from spilling onto the desk at the very least. What? <laughs> Alright, I can use it as a coaster, I guess. Um, just see what you can make of it. It's kind of the worst uh, of a bunch anyway. Okay. To compensate, I did fill the box with some extra treats, a piece of hardware for the CDI. Thank you very much for your awesome YouTube presence and being a great guy in general. Always great to hear from you, and perhaps we can do some more trading in the future. Take care, Seb. Wow. Awesome. Oh, what is this? P.S. Acquired taste may be required. High expectations can lead to disappointment. It's best to just swallow the sour, keep on smiling, and explore onwards. <laughs> If you guys remember, I wound up uh, uh, eating, I don't remember what the heck the name of it was. It was dung, dung, dungaree, no, it's not dungarees. What is it called? <laughs> I could call it probably dung, but it, it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Um, it was the, the really sour, or the, the licorice candy years and years ago, which I almost threw up on camera, I think, because it was so disgusting. Um, but for some people, I think it's probably good. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What do we got? This is Napoleon, Limpur, and Citron Kogels. Is that what that is? Oh, we got some of these here. I don't know. These look kind of interesting. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but I figured I'd put this on in the background, so if people just get bored of looking at me because I'm probably doing something strange, then uh, they can watch the stuff going in the background, the cheesy acting. Because there's cheesy acting going on here. Well, it's not really acting, but it's still cheesy. Let's try this guy here. If we can open it. Ugh, more of a package video. This is like a tasting video, isn't it? Ugh, do I need my knife to open this? Okay. Alright, we'll try this first one. Hmm. It's safe. <laughs> Tastes like lemon. That's alright. Good. No problem with that. That's good. Good, good, good. Yeah, this doesn't look safe. <laughs> I'm just saying, it just doesn't look safe. Um, yeah, that really looks kind of like the last one that I tried. And I told Sab specifically, don't put this in the box. Like I said, I don't want that other one. I just don't want to try it. I'll try it. <laughs> Let's get rid of this one. Wow. All right. Well, that's pretty good. All right. I know it wouldn't be an entertaining video if I didn't try some of this stuff too. So. so. There's no hint as to what it really is, which further worries me a lot. All right, well, let's open this package up here. Yeah, we'll try to open this package. Oh, that doesn't smell safe. Oh, that smells, mmm, mmm. Mmm, well, we'll try it. Uh, here's what we got. I don't know what exactly this is, but uh, 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 oh my god, shove your shit, man. Uh, oh, jeez. What is that? Oh, damn. It's like the, um, yeah. Uh, and it's such a big box, you know I'm not going to eat this, man. Oh, this is gross. Nah, nah. Oh, man. <coughs> it tastes exactly like those, those other ones that I tried years ago, only in a chewy form. Oh, that's gross. Damn it, Seb, I'm sending something sick your way, too. Oh, yeah.
I'm sure there's people out there that love it. It's kind of like black licorice with the, uh, what, what is it? It's like a aluminum or, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it tastes like licky dirt and uh, a cardboard box mixed with some charcoal, I guess. Ugh. My gosh. And the taste just lingers. All right, never mind. Well, forget that. Um, all right, well, it looks like uh, on a good note, if I can get this out of my mouth, uh, this is a <laughs> this is a Philips CDI uh, controller, which I've never seen before. This looks quite unique. Um, got like four buttons to it, a really interesting shape. The normal one that uh, I usually use here is uh, this one uh, for the CDI. So this is kind of cool looking. That should be kind of... Uh, nicer, easier to use. There was a couple of them that Seb had given me earlier, a long time ago, that were like a remote control or something, so um, I tried that, and it was uh, it was quite interesting to use, but it just didn't work very well. This looks like it would work out quite well. Awesome! Thank you, Seb! <coughs> Alright, and uh, let's see, what else do we got? Don't tell me you sent me two boxes of this stuff, please. Total loss. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, total loss. This one here, I don't know what this one was called. It was called uh, Gum and Gade Mix. There's no mix in here. It's, yeah, we'll put that down. So total loss, huh? That looks like it could be dangerous as well. Uh, <laughs> always nice to try something that warns you at the beginning here what it could be. I'll open this one up and test some of that. Ah, uh, this one at least smells nice. There are some, like, dangerous looking ones in there. Oh, there we go. We've got a uh, bit of a classic car or a sports car, a Batmobile or something. Ah. Now, it's so much nicer than the last one. Ah. Redeemed. Definite redemption. Holy mackerel, Sam. What did you put in here? Oh, this looks like a um, party rope or something like that. Looks pretty interesting. I think I'll leave this one for later. Like marshmallow rope. <laughs> If you still, if you're still watching this video, just turn it off. Just give up, because <laughs> it's crap. This is complete crap. Look, 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 look. This is what we got, and it looks like some. What is it? Some straps, some sour straps, <laughs> sour candy straps of something like this. Once again, <laughs> just stop watching the video. <laughs> what else do we got? Original wafers. Okay, this looks pretty good. I don't know. Is that caramel or something on the inside here? Looks awesome. Very, very nice. I can't believe all the candy and stuff that's in here, Seb. This is just amazing. There's all kinds of stuff. What in the crap is in... Okay. So... Here are the, the games that Seb has sent, so we'll get into that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. And once again, these are all for the CDI, so this is all CDI-based game stuff. Awesome! <laughs> this is a game that I really wanted to play um, after seeing Seb's review on it, and that is The Apprentice. Now, if you guys remember taking a look at this game, or if you haven't seen the video that Seb did on it, I totally recommend going to check it out. The graphics on this game are really amazing. I think impressive for the CDI and even for um, you know most 2D game consoles. It just looks beautiful with the hand-drawn graphics, and it looked like a really fun game, so I wanted to give it a try. And this is awesome. Thank you, Seb. There's one. Here's one that I, I have no idea about, uh, probably I think another one that Seb has done a video on, and that's Burn Cycle, which looks like it has some interesting uh, FMV, full motion video, like acting going on in it. A mind-blowing game. Blow your mind. 
Uh, so, Soul Cutter has something on his mind. In two hours, it's going to explode. Nice. <laughs> this should be good. Pretty interesting. This is one that Seb had also mentioned, which I've never seen before, and that is Christmas Crisis. Now, I can imagine that Seb is probably going to be putting up a video on this one as well at some point in time, so uh, it'll be kind of cool to take a look at, but this is supposed to be like an action platformer, and another game that I'd never, never seen here for the CDI. I mean, there's several games I've never seen for it, but this is really cool. Thanks again, Seb. And, ah, uh, another game that's, that he had put up um, a playthrough on. This is Dymo's Quest. If you watched him put up this one, it was quite brutal. There was a lot of difficulty to it, and it, it did require some patience as he was dying left and right <laughs> in it. But this looks like another fun one, another puzzle uh, game to go ahead and try and make it through. Great. Looking forward to that. Um... Uh, another one here, uh, Flashback for the CDI. Now, Flashback has been around for several years, and it's been on so many different systems. It's been on the uh, FM Towns system. It's been on the Atari Jaguar. It's been on... Well, I think it's been on the Jaguar. Maybe it's not. <laughs> it's been on other systems. Uh, it's been on the... What other one? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been on a lot of different systems. Flashback is quite a... Uh, a interesting game. Reminds me a lot of the Jurassic Park game for the Sega Genesis, um, or even the one I think, yeah, for the Sega Genesis. That's probably the one I'm thinking of. But that should be kind of cool to play. Cool stuff, man. Thank you. And, ah, an absolute classic. This one is, dun dun dun, this is Hotel Mario. So, this is a uh, one that I told him that I didn't have. Uh, I had a rental copy or something somewhere. Like, it, it's like a uh, burned copy of the game. So, I figured uh, I, I'd try and get the original one here, and Seb went and he wound up finding the original, which is fantastic. This is so cool, man. Thank you so much. Totally awesome. So. <laughs> I'm going to try and give this a shot here, pop that in, and uh, play some of that. And, huh, okay, <laughs> what is <laughs> what, what is this, man? <laughs> this is uh, Zelda's at Adventure, I suppose, here for the CDI. Um, this is like <laughs> broken keys. Uh, oh my gosh, is <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is one that he told me is uh, unplayable. This is sick. <laughs> what is this supposed to be, man? Am I supposed to, should I try and put this in here and see if this works? This is going to be, uh, is it a broken game? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> he, he, oh my gosh. What a crazy man. Oh, what's this? <sighs> Seb. What are you doing? Let's see here. It looks like I got strands of uh, strands of the pet in here, which is good. Always awesome to have uh, Seb's uh, dog a little bit closer, which is cool. <laughs> Let's see what, what this one is. <clears throat> Can't get into it. Ah, uh, there, there he goes. So this is a game that I told Seb that I was going to buy. I was really willing to buy off of him. And he uh, he said that, you know, he's not interested in, in having any money for it. There was a couple things that he wanted for it. So instead, doing a trade, and that is Zelda's Adventure for the CDI. Now, like I would mentioned, I'd really gotten into these Zelda games here and had a lot of fun with them, so I wanted to try and go through each one of the Zelda games. I had finished, uh, the which one was it, uh, Faces of Evil, and the ending was quite quick, and I thought, like, oh, man, that's a fast ending. Uh, but the gameplay, the music, everything, the soundtrack in the game, even the cheesy cutscenes, I kind of found interesting and funny. So 
uh, I went along and I'm still almost all the way through here with the Wand of Gamelon and I was looking for the last one and Seb was like, yeah, these things go for ridiculous amounts right now, but uh, I have an extra copy and I'm willing to do a trade, so I said, okay, let me know what you want, and he did, and I tried to hook him up, so there's the last one in here. I think I'll play this one, though, just because I don't want to ruin this copy. I'll try and use the one that's already been played uh, a million times and uh, go from there, but... That is the unboxing video in all its glory and uh, yeah, in all of its sickness here with the candies that uh, are poisonous. I, I really don't recommend these for people who are planning on living or staying alive. Um, this is just wrong on so many levels and uh, I, man, I should have, I really should have sent something bad back, <laughs> but I didn't. I sent something good. so. All right, well, that's enough uh, enough rambling for me, and we got some hair from Chip, and which is an extra bonus, and I'm digging that. So, but yeah, uh, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. And uh, you'll probably see Seb put up a video on his package, <laughs> or the package I gave him, which doesn't sound any better, but uh, yeah. I'm going to stop the video now, so... Thanks again for watching. See you guys. Thanks, Seb. You're sick. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do with this stuff?